video is going to be about my favourite beauty products at the moment. Uh, I haven't done a beauty video for ages and I always mean to do this one because I really like to show you guys the makeup that I'm wearing at the moment but I always end up doing like a fashion one. So I've been rather boring in the last few months and kind of stuck to the same products but in a way that's good because it means that I really like them. So I'm just going to go through everything, show you what I've been loving and yeah, hopefully there's some things in here that you like as well or some things you haven't discovered yet that you might want to go and purchase yourself. And it's a really good mix between drugstore cosmetics and a few higher end products as well. So yeah, hopefully you'll like it and I'm just going to get on with it now. Okay, so the first thing I want to start off with is a moisturiser. And um... This is a moisturiser I've been using for probably the last two months and it's the number 7 beautiful day cream um, normal to dry SPF 15 moisturiser and I love number 7 products um, but this is definitely one of my favourites. I use this every morning before I put my makeup on, um, obviously leave it to like sink in for like, 5 minutes and it's just amazing, I absolutely love it. It smells so nice. It hasn't got a very strong scent to it. Like when you smell it, it's not really perfumed because it's like hypo hypoallergenic and stuff. But it's got um am I right in saying I read somewhere that it contains rose hip, like rose hip oil or like rose hip rose hip scent. And that I can't explain it, but it just smells so clean and fresh, but like it's got a slight floral pretty scent to it as well. And when you kind of put it on your face and neck, you can really smell it, but it's not a kind of smell that you think you just rubbed a really perfumed product into your face. It's hard to explain, but this is one of my favourites, and I really want to go and get the, um, I think it's the cleanser that goes with this as well, because the Beautiful Skin range, I think they've got quite a lot of different ranges of the products for different age skins and stuff like that. So I'll try and link this below to the Boots website so you can go and check it out for yourself. And obviously number 7 is available in Boots anyway, so you can always go to the Boots store and check it out. So that's that. So foundation wise, I have tried a few different ones over the last couple of months. But I always go back to the same one and that's Revlon's Photo Ready Foundation. I don't know, I mean some people don't like it, other people absolutely love it. But it's the right foundation for me. I just find it gives the best coverage. It's not really thick or cakey, but it is a really good coverage foundation. Um, I've just purchased another one, this is what it looks like, um, in the colour Nude. I had two shades darker of this before, um, and I liked it, but I did feel that it was too dark for my skin. Um, so I've picked up a slightly lighter one. And I'm really liking it. I think it matches my skin tone a bit better. I'm probably going to try the one in the middle that I've kind of missed out when it gets a bit warmer. And get a bit more of a tan, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I've got number four nude. And yeah, I really love it. Can't rave about this enough. Obviously, everyone likes different foundations. It's a really kind of personal makeup product that some people love, some people hate. I've also got Chanel's Vitalumia, which everybody raves about, everybody loves this foundation, and I don't like it at all, it just, it's such a shame because it's a lovely product, but it's quite perfumed, when I put it around my eye area it stings, um, and I think it's a bit streaky as well, I'm just going to get totally kind of obliterated for saying all of this stuff about this foundation, because it's like some people's holy grail product, so it could well be yours. But I don't particularly like it, so that's just personal preference. So my favourite foundation is Revlon's Photo Ready Foundation. Love it. So after my foundation, I then apply my concealer. And the one that I've been loving is Benefit's Erase Paste. Um, I've wanted this for years and years and years, but I never really picked it up. Because even though I love Benefit products, I just kind of went with other ones. I've got another one to show you, which I've used for ages, actually. Um, but I actually got this from Biopower, which I did a video about um, with the Cloud Nines. So you can watch that one to find out a bit more about Biopower's, like, how they work and stuff. But basically, I got this in a co-buy. So instead of, like, £18.50 or £19, which it would be um, at a benefit counter, um, it was £14. So... Obviously, I got a really good discount there, and I absolutely love it. It's in number one fair, and it's just a really nice product. 
Um, all I just use it for is once I've put my foundation on, if there's any areas that still have a bit of redness that the foundation hasn't quite covered up, then I just use this. So usually around the nose area, um, sometimes, where else do I use it? Just on blemishes usually, like if there's any blemishes poking out, then I just like dab this over it. It's a really nice consistency and yeah, it's a lovely product. A concealer that I've used for ages and got through loads and loads of is the Collection 2000 Lasting Performance Ultimate Wear Concealer, which is absolutely amazing. It's a really, really good drugstore um, concealer and it's a lot of people's favourites. I really do like it. It's got a doe foot applicator. Mine's dirty because I've had it for so long. You have to bear in mind that all of these products have been in my makeup bag for the last two or three months. So they're not like sparkly clean and new but um, I really like it and that's all some of my favourites. So I kind of alternate between these two whatever I feel like on the day. This one is a bit more um, heavy coverage than this one is so it's just how you're feeling and what your skin's looking like really. So after I've applied my concealer I then tend to go on to a bronzer um, and I have two to show you as well. The first one is the one I have been loving for ages and you can probably tell that I have because it looks like this. It's pretty much all gone. Um, it's Look Beauty's um, Holiday Glow in Rio which is shade 3 and it's quite a scary colour. It's very dark brown but when you apply it it's not as brown as it may appear um, on first glance. It's really nice and it's just got a nice colour to it where it doesn't make you look orangey it just makes you look like you have a nice bronzed glow and when I look at it in the pan it is slightly shimmery like a tiny bit but it doesn't look shimmery on the skin or like glittery or anything like that which I really really hate in a bronzer so I'd definitely recommend this one so that's Holiday Glow in Rio which is shade 3 and one I picked up about 6 weeks to 2 months ago was NARS Laguna which is a very 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 popular bronzer um, so obviously I've heard so many rave reviews about it so I had to give it a go um, it looks like this, you've probably all seen it before uh, it's just again it's a really nice brown colour no sparkle, no shimmer, just totally matte which is what I like in a um, bronzer and it's just a really lovely colour it's not as dark as this one, I'll try and show you them to get I'm going to do close-ups of them all as well so you can see them properly, which hopefully you've been seeing. Um, and So they look like this, quite different colours, but they're still both really nice. Um, I do tend to still use this one more, but I love this one. And once this has run out, I'll probably just go on to this one more. Um, so that's NARS Laguna. It's quite expensive, obviously it's a NARS product, but I'll try and link that below so you can get an idea of like prices and stuff. Okay, so I have one blusher to show you and it's because I've been using this blusher every single day since I got it, which was again about two months ago, and I absolutely love it, it's amazing, I can't rave enough about it, it's NARS Gaiety, and um, it looks like this, and it's just this amazing pink colour, I absolutely love it, um, it's so bright, it's very Barbie pink, but when you apply it obviously it doesn't come out as kind of scarily bright pink as this just gives your cheeks a really nice pink glow and this sounds really weird but it just kind of makes you look happy like that sounds so strange because it's just a blusher and it's called gaiety which obviously means happy but when I put it on it just like really lifts my face and I just think it's a really lovely colour I don't know if it's from a collection or whether it's a permanent colour I'd like to say it's a permanent colour but I could be wrong but hopefully this is still available because it's lovely so that's my only blusher that I've got to show you because it's the only one I've been using really. My favourite highlight at the moment has to be ELF's Radiance Enhancer which again I got all of these quite around quite a similar time like two to three months ago within the last two to three months and I'm not sure what colour this one is because um, stickers come off but I think it's the pinky toned one so go on their website and look for Radiance Enhancer and you're not going to be able to see this because I'm too far away so I'll hold up a swatch of it but it's lovely, I wouldn't apply it with the brush straight onto the cheeks because it'd be too streaky but um, on the hand it just looks really shimmery and then I just apply this usually with my fingers with my fingers um, on the brow bone on, what am I talking about, on my brow bone and cheekbones um, down the bridge of my nose 
anywhere where it would be naturally highlighted by the sun basically um, and I think that's in the studio line so it's about £3.50 and it's really good. Eyeshadow wise I've been really quite boring, um, I've only got one to show you but I have been switching up my eyeshadows more than this but this is the MUA um, uh, trio in chocolate box and I've been using it loads and I really like it, it's really dirty sorry. It looks like this um, and I've been using this peachy pink colour all over the lid and then the darker brown in the crease. I haven't really been using this one as much but I just like these two colours together, it's a nice combination but um, I'm very much a neutral girl when it comes to eyeshadow so a little bit boring but it's a really good product if you like neutrals. I wish I had more to show you but this is the only one I have to hand right now. Um, I should have shown you this product first because I always put this on underneath if I'm going for a more goldy look. Um, so I tend to not use the pink when I use this product and I just use this and the brown and maybe like um, a neutrally gold eyeshadow over the top. But this is Max Paint Pot in Indian Wood and it looks like this. Um, it's just a really gorgeous colour. It's really, It looks like you're just like painting like a gold film onto your eyelids um that sounds really weird but it's just really kind of like illuminous and shimmery it's not like glittery or anything like that i can't explain it it's just got like a foil quality to it like gold foil or something like gold leaf i don't know but it looks really nice and then when you put like a neutral color on over the top it really enhances it so that's max indian wood this is the only paint pot i've got but i do really like it if you've got any more like recommendations for paint pots, then let me know. Mascara wise, I've been using two. Um, I've got L'Oreal Telescopic, which I've talked about loads before. There may not be any point in me showing you this up close because all of the um, writing has scratched off it. But it's the one I always use. I absolutely love it. I will show you the brush um, close up. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. I love L'Oreal Telescopic. Um, this is in carbon black, I think. Yeah, it's the really dark black one. Um, it's really good for getting to like the little lashes and stuff. And I've also been using uh, Max Factor's Full Slash Effect Mascara. Um, again, it's been one of my favourites for years, but um, I was recently sent this one. So it's been in my makeup bag and I've kind of fallen back in love with it again. So this is like the thin one and this is like the fat one. And I use this on my lashes just to define them and then I use this one to try and like give them a bit more volume. So they kind of work quite nicely together. For eyeliner, I've been using Collection 2000's Fast Stroke Eyeliner, which is a liquid eyeliner. And I use this along the upper lash line, um, obviously not on the waterline. It's really good for getting a little flick. Um, waterline wise, I just use whatever kind of black eyeliner I have to hand. So I haven't really got one to show you for that. Okay, nearly there, on to lipsticks and lip glosses. I have a few of these to show you. Probably won't pick all of these because I've been here all day. But this is probably the thing I change up most. I generally wear a different lipstick every day because I love them. Um, but the ones that I've been using lots are um, Revlon's Stormy Pink, which as you can see I have used a lot of. Um, it's a really good, um, gorgeous pink with a kind of blue undertone to it. So um, it's just a really nice colour and it suits a lot of people. So that's Revlon Stormy Pink. Um, one that I really recently got, which was only about a week ago, is Natural Collections Cranberry. Um, and it isn't the colour I would normally go for, but it's just a really pretty kind of ready pink. And it just looks amazing on the lips. It just gives your makeup a little bit more of a dramatic effect without wearing like a red lipstick and the way that the um, natural collection was made they're really easy to kind of line the lips as well so you get really nice lip shape like a, and a nice cupid's bow shape so I really like that one and they're like $1.99 really good another one I've been loving is Flirtatious by e.l.f and this I think is in their £1.50 range it's one of the cheaper ones um, again, I'm, I'm wearing this one now actually, so this is the one I've got on my lips at the moment. It's a really pretty, um, like, it's not a Barbie pink when you compare it to this one. It's just, I can't, I don't know, I'm rubbish at describing. But this is like a bluish pink and this is like a kind of more of an orangey, peachy pink. It's a really, really pigmented colour 
um, and it just looks lovely so for £1.50 you can't go wrong with that and lastly I've been using Fashionista's Raspberry a lot because I've been really liking these ready pink colours and dark pinks lately I always used to go for kind of a nude pink or bubblegum pink but lately I've been changing up the colours that I've gone for and this one is really nice um, again it's a quite similar colour to um, Cranberry and I just really like it it wasn't a very good description of the lipsticks. I have got a favourite lipstick video which may um, contain some of those. I'm not sure some of the older ones I might have had in that video. So if you go and check that out, it gives a little bit more of a better explanation about them. So on to lip glosses. I've got two to show you. First of all, I've got MUAs. I think they're called Out There Lip Glosses, but the writing's rubbed off again, so I'm not sure. Um, but it's in the colour Nude, and it looks like this. And I use this if I have put on a really bright colour, but I just want to tone it down a bit. And this is a really pretty kind of um, toffee coloured nude gloss. So yeah, it just tones down any colour um, if you think you've gone a little bit too bright for any reason. Yeah, it's just a really pretty colour. I think I've said that about everything, but I like these colours because they're pretty colours, so that's why I've said it really. And then secondly, for lip gloss, I've got the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in salsa and it looks like this I really love this colour I've had this one for a while and I absolutely love it and it's got a little bow on the top which I love and yeah this is one of my favourite pink um, lip glosses it's a little bit shimmery so it just adds a really nice kind of glossy shimmer to the lips so they're the two that I wear I don't always put a lip gloss on if I just like the colour of the lipstick and I'm going for a kind of matte look then I'll just stick to the lipstick if I want um, my lips to feel a little bit more moisturised or just, you know, have that kind of glossiness to them. And at the moment I'm reaching for one or the other of these. And finally, the last product I've got to show you, and I generally put this on last because I usually feel like once all my face makeup is done and I can see that I've done it all kind of like symmetrically, then I fill in my eyebrows. That might be a really backwards way of doing it to some people. I know a lot of people would do, would do that straight after applying their um, foundation, but it's just a personal preference. So I use the HD Brows Kit. I actually got this in a glossy box a long, 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 long time ago. I pretty much used it every single day since I've got it, and I absolutely love it. Um, this is in Vamp which I think is probably slightly too dark for me, but I only use one of the colours. I'll show you what they look like. Um, so these are the four colours that you get. I probably don't get as much use out of this palette as I should because I only use one colour, which is this one here. Um, and I just use a tiny little bit, so it's going to last me for so long. But it's the colour that I like. I think it's really nice. And this one is quite good for highlighting if you ever want to um, just highlight under your brow bone as well. So that's really good. But obviously if you've got like brown hair you can use this one or really dark like dark brown or black hair this one could be really good so this one's really good for girls with blonde hair or a mousy brown or a dark blonde so i really love this okay so that's everything i've got to show you that's everything i've been using and loving lately um so let me know if you use any of these products as well and if you love them or if there's any that you fancy giving a go and i'll speak to you soon thanks for watching everyone bye